Hey, we're supposed to get several inches of snow today. We've got a couple already. Uh, but what we have more than that right now is some drifting of prior snow that we've already had. And just so it doesn't get out of control, I've got the gator out here with the blade, and we're going to see if we can get some of these drifts knocked down. Uh, we're supposed to get maybe 10 inches of snow. We're not sure. Six to ten is what they're saying. You know how it's, you can never really tell. But it's already drifted pretty deep from the prior snows. Uh, wind picked up overnight, and we've had maybe an inch or so added. So we'll plow this now and then after we get some more snow we'll uh, probably have to do it again. I think this may be the first time I've actually shown this gator blade. Uh, this one is from Curtis and it's a four-way blade not a six-way blade it doesn't have the the, the two wings um, so left right up down uh, you run it in a float position when you when you want to plow with it so my favorite part about it is it's warm. I'm not warm. Sorry about that. No, you're not. We should we should get you one of those uh, personal pods or whatever. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm glad we're out here doing this. These drifts are over a foot high here already, Christy. Oh wow! I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to plow them toward the center, for this extra snow at least toward the center. I had been pushing it to the outside, but I'm afraid that was just making my drifting situation worse. I hope you can do this fast in the Gator. You're cold, huh? Just my face is cold. I'll. At the end, we'll have to show you how much stuff I have on. Yeah, maybe I can get that here with the GoPro as I go by you. I look like the Marshmallow Man. <laughs> I don't get real good visibility, but I get enough to get the job done. I, I can see you know, the front edge of, of my blade. Pretty good about traction and all. I mean, this is really deep right here. It is looking deep. Wow. I, you know, with the four wheel drive, I think it's actually doing pretty good. It may take me a couple trips. Whoops. It may take me a couple trips around to, to get that. I'll raise that a little bit. No. Got more stuff in my hands here than I can operate, Christy. Uh, you need a magnet mount. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit and see if I can get some of that drift uh, pushed back a little further. You know, I really wasn't counting on this extra snow, so I didn't, wasn't too concerned about when I was plowing previously. Maybe I can plow some of that off and then I'll make another round around here. So, this plow works really well out on my big driveway, but it's a little bit difficult to use for me right here next to the house and where I have some challenges like that, just tighter quarters. But out here where I've got more room, it is fabulous. It's a pretty good amount of snow to be pushing there. Hard old snow too. I've got the feet set lower than the blade, but I still pick up a few rocks. It is less than perfect. It's, it's better than better than nothing, but less than perfect. Now we have a combination of surfaces here. We have some concrete right in front of our house. It's more like a suburban driveway, right? And then we have the rock or crushed stone driveway uh, out to the road. And that's more like a rural driveway. And what we're finding is that there's a, a radical difference in expectations as well as 
ability to, to clean off these surfaces. When I'm working on the, the what I would call the residential or, or suburban style driveway up here at my house, I, I really would like to get it perfectly clean. Right? I'd like to get all the snow off of it um, and get it down to the concrete. And out on the rock, I don't even want that. I just I want it snow packed, I just don't want it deep. So I have a total different expectation on the two surfaces. And I also find then that that leaves me with just totally different conditions and, and even the desired equipment is, is different between the two surfaces. So, uh, and then you combine that with the, the thought that there is totally different types of snows. The, the average amounts of snow are different, but the types of snow are different. Sometimes it's wet, nasty, and sometimes it's you know, dry and fluffy. And it just makes snow removal not something that's consistent and not something that I can easily say one size fits all. I don't, I just don't think that works. Hopefully you can watch some of our snow moving videos from the past and, and, and learn what works for you. We've shown several different solutions and, and that's why we're showing this gator today. Christy, you beg to be inside now. Yep, it's cold out there. That right there is the spot that's causing the big drift. We may have to push it back down a little further. Here's another big drift. At least big for central Indiana. We'll go down our driveway here. This is the spot where this blade shines. I'm in the gator here, totally warm. I'm can, warm too now. We can go fast. We could probably go faster than this, but it's fast enough. It's a floating blade, meaning that it's on a chain so that it, that it can can allow it to float with all its weight on the ground. I'm trying not to leave too much slack in that chain because when I do leave the slack in the chain, sometimes it wants to, to dig in. Don't put me in a ditch now. Well, you're going to push out, right, if we get, if we uh, get no. stuck. Mm -mm. you got a tractor for that, don't you? Yeah, but you'll have to walk and get it. It's too cold for me. <laughs> Some of this is what the highway department has pushed off. I'll get that as far as I can without getting in the ditch. Felt like you. Was about sort there. Sort of got in the ditch, but. Hopefully we can back out. Oh, yep. I'm gonna have to get some rear ballast. You have rear ballast for the gator? Well, I've got weight. Of course, I could just have you sit in the back. Hey now, oh! I'm driving a little further to, off the ditch than I need to. Oh no! Nobody's coming. We don't have a lot of traffic on our road. The only traffic we have is when we get out in the road and you know something goes wrong, like we bust a hydraulic hose or right or some other disaster happens. Then there's you know 18 cars come by. I'm actually getting hot now because I have all my outside clothes on. Glad to hear that because I've been burning up for a good while. I was just having oh. the heat on because of you. Okay. I was trying to be kind. The Gator has three fan speeds. High, hurricane, and tornado. Tornado. <laughs> I kind of wish it had a slower speed, I guess is my point. Neighbor Chris has a blade on his truck. He keeps wanting to compare. I think he thinks his truck is better. He's got a six-way blade by Western for his truck. I think mainly he was wanting to compare it to the tractor blades. I think he was just thinking that he could stay warm. Uh, You've got the control in your hand, right? I do. There's a place to a way to mount it here, but I don't know where to mount it. 
and so I've just been carrying it in my hand. Um, that works great, except when I was trying to hold the GoPro in my hand, that didn't work very well. So I'm trying to plow this pretty good because after we get more snow today, we're going to try a different blade. in another episode but that blade is right up there now notice it's got a pipe on it so we'll see how well that works on our rocks it's all I want to push here I'm spinning a little bit pushing it against the old snow bank where I plowed several days ago. I think we're getting rock out in the yard. We probably are. But it's about what you gotta do, right? Yeah, I mean we have to get these big piles of snow out. It's gonna stay for most of the week. There's no way we can avoid plowing at this time. If we get only two, three, four inches, a lot of times we don't even plow it. Uh, again, the expectation is different when you've got a rock driveway. You have a concrete driveway, you want it clear. You have a rock driveway, you want it passable. Maybe that's a good way of saying it. I just want to be able to get to the house. Yeah, you don't want to get stuck on the way in and you don't want the FedEx guy getting stuck on the way in. Right. Oops, here comes the truck. Yikes. Actually, out here, they're probably used to... Yeah, he's looking for it, you know? Yeah. On a day like today. So, let me compare this. I'll compare this to a tractor just a little bit uh, as we get ready to close this episode. I don't like having to shift gears. Uh, with a tractor, I can just move my foot, right, and go forward and backwards. With this one, the moving of the gear shift is one extra thing that I have to do. And there's a lot of front, back, front, back, front, back. I would prefer not to have that motion that I have to do each time. I don't think I see quite as good with this as I do with the tractor, but oh my goodness, is it warm. Um, if I do need to go to a neighbor's driveway like we just did in between this last video here, it's quick. It's quick to get there and I can, you know, I can go faster on that. Overall, I probably would make my decision between a tractor and a side-by-side -side for snow removal. I'd make it off the size of my driveway. Um, if I had, you know, maybe a half mile of driveway or just a really long driveway to deal with, I believe I would, would strongly consider this UTV approach. If I have a smaller driveway, I need a little bit more detail, I would probably go with the tractor. Now there's other considerations as well push this back just a little bit further. That's a lot of snow, Christy. Yeah, it is. Wow. This is the most snow we've had in a long time, and we're supposed to get a lot more. Most snow we've had since we've lived here. Yes. Christy, I think I had the best deal today. Yeah, you had heat and you were inside. It's freezing outside. Yeah, you can come in there and be toasty with me now for a little while. Okay, <laughs> I think I will. Guys, assuming we get uh, the snowfall that we're supposed to get over the next 24 hours, we'll have uh, another episode. Uh, we're gonna be showing a, a loader mount blade on the front of Johnny and it's gonna have PVC pipe on the bottom of it to see how it does uh, to keep it out of the rocks. Wait, what? that's not going to be fair either, because you have a cab on Johnny. Uh-oh. And there's not two you're, seats on Johnny. You're getting too smart for me, Christy. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you get to plow the snow next time. We'll have to oh. see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> Folks, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're sitting by the fire. Yes, for sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. Tim.
My face is cold. Yeah, I'll let you get in here with me. About time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I've had to take my hat off. It's so hot. Huh.